what are some reasons why you have broken up with girls before? And do you have one that's like, that you feel is really petty? Deal breaker. I don't know. You're like, yeah. Yeah. So, I don't no, do you have a deal breaker Matches. list? Because um, Jared has a deal breaker list kind of, right? There's like yeah. certain things, like if you can't get along with my ex-wife, like that's part of my life. Right, you're, right, right. You're gone. Don't get along you can't get along with, with my friends. Matt, my friends. You're not used you're to gone. going in this aspect. So... Yeah, I would say if you're I, a bad drunk. I've, I've if been, you yeah, are, you're a bad drunk. Right. You're sloppy, you know I mean? like, stuff like sloppy, that. Sloppy, so. yeah. Um, yeah, I don't like lying. That's like a big one for me. Like when I catch people in like little white lies, mm-hmm. then I'm like, well, what else what are you else? lying okay. about? Like everybody yeah. lies to maybe benefit themselves in some regard or another. But um, it's hard because a lot of relationships, I've actually been kind of the uh, the guy that's fucked up a lot of it as far as you know, not necessarily like loyalty. I just been like squirreled and i was young right and i think that's why like marriage has been pretty good to me these days because you learned a lot yeah i got a, i got a decent yeah. head on my got shoulders I'm, st- I'm still hard to fucking yeah sure. <laughs> i got no i'm the same way though like i had to practice marriage under my belt and then yeah. the second one's like okay cool like sometimes you, you need a ra- like run down in the vegas <laughs> and show everybody your tadpoles you know there you go every single one indiscriminately <laughs> Would you like that? Like for joke. everyone. People. Oh, okay. Yeah, what do like you think it semen. was? I don't know. Oh. I thought it was a fun joke that you guys, a fun time you guys had together. <laughs> Tad, with no, tadpoles tad, in tad the Bellagio tad fountain. Sperm. I don't like know what happened. I've Jesse. never given tadpoles in the Bellagio fountain. <laughs> I'm, an, <laughs> I'm an outsider. I don't even like Vegas. Does, you pulled a Tiffany right there. Does, I know. Like, so t- you're saying typically you're the one who's broken up with them? No, no. Oh, okay. I'm very convincing in my argument. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. No, I've just had weird relationships. I've actually only been in about four real relationships in my mm-hmm. whole entire life. And um, one person I dated was absolutely phenomenal. I was just kind of young and stupid, and we wouldn't have worked out. I'm a little too crazy for her, but phenomenal to this day. Love her family, love her. Um, and then two of the other ones just didn't work based yeah. off of like completely different people. Okay. You know, I mean, one of them is a terrible person, but not the one you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no. she's not bad, but. No. No, I think the biggest thing with relationships for me is like, why do people, and this is a question for you guys, why do okay. motherfuckers go scorched earth? I've never got that because what do you mean? I've yeah. never disliked someone more than I've dated than, than one point in my life and I, other than this a little bit. But when I walked away, I was just like, I wish her the best. I wish her happiness because I didn't provide that for her, even though I could say all the bad things and why I think she's a shit person. But yeah. I don't wish will Ill, Ill will on that. And it's like the social media thing. Everybody has to make someone else look bad to make themselves look good. Well, it's like, and that re- yeah. yeah, it's quite possible that both of you are okay humans. Yeah. yeah. And you just you're didn't just work just out. Exactly. Didn't work and out. guess what? Your friends can still be friends with them and move. It's like, I fucking hate that stuff. Oh, and- so you're saying that you see people out there going, Hey, we just broke up. I'm going to make this person look like shit. Yeah. On screenshots. Media I see a lot in the, in, in groups too. And they're just like, fuck this pe- and it's like dude wow. what does that do what, is, because, what does that- i mean i think it I just think hits on people's insecurities through. right because yeah. jared was kind of talking about this too like every he's like why can't i just like if i say or if a girl says to him like i don't want to be with you anymore i don't think he's I working out better. i'm gonna go he's like cool like wish you well if he does it the other way you're in a fight for a fucking day they're texting you da 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 yeah. they're like why putting stuff out me? on the internet yeah but um, but he's also it, emotionally broken. So I mean. oh, I know. <laughs> like I'm not comparing you I'm guys kidding. at all, I'm for kidding. sure. No. But um, I think we're all emotionally broken in some ways. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, well, for sure. Well, accepting that you're not enough for somebody is one of the hardest things to do in your life. But like, or just the, that you that aren't could be right. It. It's not even well, necessarily that you aren't. Rejection enough. is fucking brutal. And that's too. the thing. Sure. I think it is. It boils down to you were rejected, and yeah. you, yeah. F- you're, you're sitting and there so you going, you don't them. want to admit there's something wrong with you. So it's so much easier to point the finger at someone else and go, "You're the one with the black eye. You're the fucking problem." And I'm gonna tell the whole world about it. One hundred percent. Because I'll, I'll be honest with myself. When I got a divorce, it ended. It didn't end great. And while there was a lot of issues on his end, right? Like kind of why some things that end it. And I could totally be bitter with him about it. Later on, I had to look back at myself and go, dude, I fucked up a lot of shit. It yeah. wasn't just him. It was both of us. There were so many things that I could do better. And later on, like, we, we know we're fine. We wish each other well, whatever. But it happens. Well, that's a, that's a good point. I think the best thing with all of this, it's like when you walk away, no matter how bad someone is, like, why break them down? Because they're essentially yeah. winning that fight. If anything, you should take away the things you could have done better. Yes. Even if they're small and microscopic, you could still go... You know, I guess I could have been a little more transparent before I went to bed and like let them know I was safe or whatever the fucking yeah. stupid case is and yeah, better yeah. yourself because guess what? You're going to land someone way more fucking rad down the road. Absolutely. Well, that's actually yeah. what we did after the divorce. We sat down and then we both went, hey, what are some things you think I can bring into my next relationship? No joke. That's insanely that's mature, though. Well, I mean, we did because yeah, yeah. We, we knew it was coming for a bit 
And it was one of those things where he was like, hey, I'm just going to let you know. And I'm saying it for myself, too, that he's like, I'm going to he did the white lie thing. And then it turned into huge lies and the major lies. Right. And he's like, I'm not going to lie. I was like, don't, because like you are an amazing guy. And that was like the biggest reason why we couldn't really be together anymore. And then for me, I was like, right. I'm going to control like my anger and try to be more loving towards men. I, I right? love what you said. And I, I got to give fucking Jared a shout out, man, like for sure on this, because what he's done and bear with me. No, takes a lot me, no. of fucking courage, yeah. man, because what he does, he is so open and transparent about who he is day yeah. one, where he wasn't that way when he got married the first time. Exactly. He was like, oh, bro, I can be a husband. And then he's fucking everything that walks. And yeah. now he's like, this is who I am. And mm-hmm. it takes such courage to do that. And I think those white lies, what a lot of people do is like monogamy works for me. Guess what? It's 2020. You don't have to be monogamous. If you want to have an open relationship, you can yeah, find that for partner, you. Yeah. but don't lie to the girl that just wants one dude correct yeah you know like for and, what and we all go through our fucking transgressions i'm not saying i'm fucking perfect but like throughout my life but yeah just like be open and honest like that's the biggest thing because then yeah. like, maybe your chick likes threesomes too and you can go have fun I don't exactly fucking know. Well, what jared what jared said was that military people get married very quickly and if you're the we single course. guy then you like are kind of the odd man out so you just sort of grab whatever yeah, is i never there, got married so in the military so you didn't no, no, it was my and, first marriage. Yeah, uh, I think everybody I thought, knew that you were like. Everybody thought you were, I was married. Well, not you even were just engaged, married, but you rushed into. Were you engaged? Sometimes rushed into something? relationships in the military, Mil- living sometimes. together or something. In the military, you like lived with someone or something no. like this. No, not in the military. Was everybody else, but you weren't. Uh, for the most part, yeah. And I took my just... job a little serious, and so like okay. I, I remember this one time I was dating an Air Force chick, and uh, she was oh, overseas. Oh, you like the Air Force girls? Yeah, she was security <laughs> forces. Hot as shit. I was. I had wow. a lot of accolades in that deployment. Okay. But I remember one day I'm flying out to go hit a target, and I'm the team leader, right? Uh-huh. Like the assault team leader, and I'm thinking about like pussy and all these things on the flight to my objective and i oh, like shit. snap myself out. i'm like this is Bro. really bad for Bro. me yeah. i'm like this is why i broke up with every girl before i went overseas because i didn't want to think about her at the club yeah or going out and yeah, then yeah, yeah. not being mission focused and getting my dudes dead so no killed. that makes so, complete sense yeah that, I, I literally did not have a relationship when i was in range of time that's smart i mean you do what you have to do i know in certain training like in pjs and cct yeah. training they tell you to stay away from girls and alcohol and just this shit like stay away from that while you're going through training because just have your head on straight and focus on it because that's anytime guys have gotten kicked out or failed it's because of that oh 100 percent right? booze booze and alcohol i mean shit i told you age. i think that i stayed celibate during my when i went i mean seer is nothing compared to what you guys do but our seer training was difficult right Super difficult, for yeah. us to go through and i didn't want to get shit for being one of the only girls so i just didn't touch a guy i didn't look at a guy i didn't want them to think anything of me so it's easier that way because yeah. you can focus on it. Well, being a, 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 an attractive woman in the military is, a, is a, an absolute difficult thing. I, Have you seen that a lot uh, yourself? Like in, in what regard? Because you say it, so I mean. Well, because you guys, you know, locker room talk, and guys are sure. guys, and it's like when you have a testosterone filled room in Iraq, and you got like fucking thirty fucking pipe hitters that are jacked and twenty five right? years old, full of testosterone, yeah. and like. A girl walks in. Like, <gasps> Doesn't <gasps> matter, <gasps> like <gasps> attractive or whatever. Oh like, no, yeah, it's deployment. Well, lot, you have the desert. Listen, if I was a chick, I would. Desert queens or something, or what do they call it? I mean, name the name. But, yeah, <laughs> I mean. Name wait, let me ask name. you this: Is it really true though that like maybe a five in oh, God, in the yes. U.S. is totally maybe a ten? Obviously, over there, one hundred percent. I, and I well, think I'm asking from a guy's perspective. It's right? so funny that girls think that it's offensive. Those statements. I'm like, if I was a chick. And wasn't like genetically blessed or something as the female. I, I either way, I would probably just get a job at like the CIA and just go deploy all the time because you'd have like what a what a what a oh. fantasy and an oasis that is. <laughs> like you get to walk out to the gym and there's like nineteen uh, shirt fucking shirtless right? oiled up dudes with tattoos with that eight packs true. and you're like life's not bad. It's good. For I've the seen a lot of attractive security, men right? on deployments. That's yeah. for sure, and not just from the United States, from many different countries. Oh, of course. Like Australian I mean, special forces. I was like, come to mommy. Like you know, that accent. Oh, well, no, I like it though. It's clean. Oi. It's clean. Oi. Wait, Oi. what is it? It's kind of clean, mate. clean. I don't know. I can't. Do <laughs> you kind of sound it's like, like Connor that. McGregor. Yeah, don't show better things to do.